Well, you might have not seen Lotus Green, but this is Act 2 of Blue Planet. Um, War in Heaven. Personal blog, Sub Lieutenant Naomi Laporte, UED Solaris. I need to get away from, the, from this ship. With Manuel and the scene gone, the Navaja is disbanded and everyone's spirits down. It feels like a tomb. It wasn't like this before the Blitz. More and more of First Fleet's being retained for classified defensive operations. Both ships have dropped off fleet nets followed up by Admiral Bryan's project. I'm not going to be part of that. Defense is just another word for saying still and waiting for defeat. I have a glowing recommendation. Letter here from Captain Telfler. I'm going to pull some strings and request a transfer out of the First Fleet entirely. The Jovians and Martians are still trying to hit back. I have an idea where I'd like to serve if I pull the right strings. I feel like something inside me is changing. I don't know what or how. I'm not really sure where I am right now. Amend them. About 1.30. I got the transfer. I'm going to Second Fleet. I'm going to serve with Lorna Sims on the Indus. I like what I saw of her at the Meridian Battle and at Reza. Her fire, her grit. I was told the Indus was the finest frigate in two fleet, but I've also heard that Indus is a death ship, a black hole for rookies, a suicide posting. I show up from Arsenite at 2240. Why so late? I guess I'll find out. Oh! Look at that! If there's anything going on down there I haven't noticed other than the cats. Welcome to your new home, Sub Lieutenant Laporte. I'm Captain Sorensen, and I'm proud to call the Indus mine. I'm glad you made the decision to join up with my ship and crew. I'm also aware you've come with high commendations from Captain Telfer, so I know that you will serve this ship with distinction and valor. In the wake of Steel's massive raid against Earth, GTVA forces have largely drawn to Jupiter Sector to resupply and regroup. Raids against Earth Sector continue, but for the most part, Second Fleet is under only limited strategic pressure. Fleet Admiral Natibra is in conference with Fleet Admiral Calder of the Jovian Rim Fleet survivors. By all indications, it looks like some major operations are about to commence. I leave you under the care of your squadron leader. I believe you two have met Captain Lloyd Sorensen, United Earth Frigate in, in this second fleet. Um... For the attention of Sub Lieutenant Laporte. Sims here. We've been introduced before. Welcome to the Indus. I'm sorry I wasn't on deck to see you in. I read over your jacket. You're clearly a skilled pilot. They're still a little green. I need that talent to rebuild the squadron. I want to make it clear that things are going to operate here differently in Second Fleet. The Martian military's reputation of rowdiness and vivacious behavior. This reputation is well earned, but it doesn't mean you can be insubordinate without consequence. It's esprit de corps, not poor discipline, that keeps the two fleet running. There are only a few veteran pilots left in the Indus. Don't worry if we don't go crazy on the arrival of you and your fellow replacements. We're at the front lines. If you see a lot of faces come and go, don't expect a shiny badge or badass squadron name. We're out here to do our jobs, not fly air shows. Welcome aboard. Orna Sims. That's medium worrying. Esprit de corps keeps things going. So why don't you guys have shiny badges and a badass squadron name. Fleet net personnel, Flight Lieutenant Karen Nigmai. Nigmai? Nigmai? I don't even know. Hey, Laporte, you're Karen. I just got word of your transfer to the Indus. You may remember me from the Nauticus in incident. <laughs> um, I'm de facto squadron leader aboard the. Yahtzee. Since our CAG is a psychological casualty, Lorna, Lorna Sims and I go way back. Uh, Admiral Natibra is about to select forces for a big joint operation against the GTVA. Two months ago, the Indus was the best frigate in two fleet and Lorna Sims is a rising star. She got that job because five officers before her couldn't hack it. For the last few weeks of Rector, the Indus air wing has been running at 400% casualty rate. Sims and Flight Lieutenant Levy are about the only two left from the original squadron. Replacements show up and die almost daily. Word has it that Lorna doesn't give her pilots call signs anymore, just numbers. The crew chief says she's banned all the flight deck from painting names on their ships. I think all the new pilots have turned into one long red blur for her. 
Worst, she thinks she prefers it that way, and all those rooks can tell it's killing morale. I want the Inthus flying alongside the Yancey, and if we do go for a big strike, I want our pilots eager to follow their captain, but Admiral Natibra will never choose a sick ship for his new task force. So do me a favor, see if you can shake Sims up. I've attached a personality profile that might help you out. I hope you get a chance to review it. Cordially yours, Karen. Federation Pilots Reference. Tori Interceptor, Ultra High Performance Interceptor and Precision Strike Craft. Massively Variable Hull Drone High Afterburner Velocity with Good Sustainability, Capable of Reverse Thrust. Mounts Reefier Cannons for Anti Fighter Attacks and Precision Paveway Bombs for on external racks or strikes against heavily defended targets at long range. Survivability inside beam and flak envelopes is low. Pilots transmission to the Kentori from the U Ulan are advised to practice with sim modules and obtain hands-on experience before combat. Be advised that sim modules have a known discrepancy with control layout in the latest Block 2 Kentoris. Okay. The Yellow Porto, the Bunkin, the Hall, let's go, let's go! I hear you and the other new transfers have been bitching about the lack of training sorties. I get that. I mean, I don't know this ship flew a couple dozen sorties a day off a slot deck. Overworking a deck crew that gets four hours of sleep shift hasn't, and hasn't had to leave in nine weeks, I'd be bitching for more flight time too, and I just assume you didn't know all that. Anyway, today's your lucky day, Yellow Porto. I'm taking you for some hands on time with your interceptor. Kentori. Get used to the cockpit, the new avionics, all that. Sound good? Yes, ma'am. I already have the deck fit your Kentori with the weapons package. We'll jump to the deep belt, put it around, and come back. Give you a chance for the field, the interceptor, and its weapons. The Yancey is handling jump 5 alert for this sector, so if anything goes wrong, ex expect Karen and her irrepressible wingmen to come charging to the rescue. As usual. Wow! Again, this is not the crap you should say, but moving on. I know you had a couple discipline problems. Your past, your record says your last swing leader was your uncle, of all people, because there is a chance to impress me with those earthborn manners of yours. Alright, let's go. Retrieving personnel, communique. Karen, your goal is to jolt Captain Sims over guilt, guilt field death spiral. My experience, Sims responds well to confidence and plain talk, but if you're too by the book, she'll just ignore you. If you can demonstrate intelligence or experience, she'll listen, but failing that, she does her best thinking when angry. Don't patronize or disrespect her abilities. And while she responds to honest emotions, don't get empathetic. She hates that. If you criticize her, criticize her professionally, not personally. Okay, hold on. I... I'm gonna... <laughs> Apparently this has become a role-playing game. I need to, I need to take a picture of this. Alright, got that up, and this is called the intervention, alright, let's, uh, worst thing you do is convince her you're an idiot, yet she'll tolerate a surprising amount of insubordination as long as it's going somewhere, once you raise the topic, don't back down. Primary objective, speak to Sims, question mark. <laughs> Secondary objective, familiarize yourself with your craft. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Alright. Autopilot slave to Sims. In this control F1 outbound training run past my regards to source and please don't get any trouble out there. Roger that. Lorna, traffic out Deal must be VSD screws, and that's the end. Blah blah blah. Your ship slave to mine for the moment, Rook. Get ready to jump. Oh, that is really cool. That is really cool. Like, that is what subspace looks like, but like to. Autopilot inactive. Control restored. Your. Choose your approach. Flirtatious, emotional, 
aggressive or direct? Um, oh man. What do I do? Anyway, form up on that one. I am going to be direct. Alright, right, Rock, welcome to Block 2, Mod 1. You're the ship's brand new throttle stick interconnect, so treat her well. She's a beauty. Stroke the stick, she jumps like a twitchy colt. Jinx around, get a feel for her. Don't forget to kick the reverse thrust. We use that for saber dancing. You're even gonna get. You ain't got reverse afterrunners. What? So, reverse thrust. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna say. Alright, that's nice. Um. Alright. Ask about the fallen. What the hell, guys? Yes. Can you tell the moment you stepped off the shuttle? Okay. Think very carefully about the next word, because you're in serious danger of coming up on charges. I do not have the time or patience for this kind of idiocy. Push the problem. Do I think you're unfit to command the squadron? I think you're just in shock. Kind of like that Wing Commander movie. High handed condescending. Come at me, Sims. Let's have it out right now. I'm not gonna go ballistic. I... Okay, Sims. So... <laughs> oh, no, no, Sims. Last time someone said I've handled worse, we died. Don't need these then. Campaign that has a brilliant twist. I love it. Sorry, I'm not reading the uh, dialogue. I'm taking evasive action.
That's not good. Alright, you're backing off. Alpha 2, Fox 2, BOOM! Ah, fine. <sighs> fine, sir. The music's a little cheesy right now, but the music's still great. Ha! <laughs> yes! Uh, oh, Flu, who are you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that was... The <laughs> music is just so, like, magical. <laughs> it's, it's so awful. Port, get your skinny ass out of that cockpit. I'm debriefing you in the locker room. Apparently, she's been checking out mine ass. And apparently, Laporte has a skinny ass. Medium disappoint. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna close down our briefing closet for a two pilot debrief. Lieutenant Levy's in there showing off his ACM footage anyway. Get that zipper for me. Thanks. Okay, we did get out there. Didn't lose anyone. Burnt some fuel, rattled some Tevs Raiders. Good for morale. You can fly. I like that. Be good flyers for your next big op. I appreciate the pointers about my command attitude. You're getting the hang of the Martian style. What's more, you're probably right. I'm sick of making new friends and losing them. But these new guys need a leader. But keep in mind, rank matters, even the two fleet. One more outlet, outburst like that, whether Karen's behind it or not, you'll be in the break for insubordination. Granted, it only lasts ten minutes, because I'll need you to fill out the roast roster. Yeah, okay, you get it. You like the, uh, Katori? It's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. That beautiful kick. Badwing chased off an Aurora, shadowing us. He must have traced or jumped and passed it to those Nicks. Steel puts the pressure on every damage of the fleet, and we're not even getting his primary goal. <laughs> yes! Right, look, one more thing. I'm uh, pretty flattered by your attentions, but we've got to sort something out, don't get me wrong. I'll tumble a pilot off another ship as fast as the next woman, but I'm in the same in the same squadron. That's a no-go, so I'm afraid you're going to have to get shot down at least once they report. No more schoolgirl flirt after missions. Towel? Nice. Okay, report. you keep all that shit straight. I'll get in real tight with new pilots. We got ourselves a squadron and a ship. Nice doing business. I feel like we just undressed each other in the locker room and yelled at each other. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, no. Oh, fine. 
<laughs> I was hoping for some musings from the point report.